I don't. I just think it's cute that you have this like this dream of like I don't know like you, uh, which I'm sure we'll get into the whole marriage thing. I'm just, but I think it's cute that you have this dream to still be married and like you know oh, yeah. start a family and everything. It's very um. It's it's the it's the only way. It's the only way I'm having kids. It's the only way I'm having kids. I'm not. I I refuse to be. I refuse to be a baby daddy out here. I'd rather you say, "Oh, it's my ex husband." You know what I'm saying? I, I I refuse to be a baby daddy, man. That's that's not for me. You know, and this isn't me talking down on anybody, but for me, it's just it's a no. It's just a no. <laughs> it's a no for me, dog. It's, it's, it's a hard. It's a hard. It's a hard pass for me, man. And, I, and I've been in situations where multiple women will be like, "Oh, well, well, we can, well, we can do this. We can make it work." And no, bro, no. Until I get down on my knee and say I do. You know what I'm saying? And propose and what are all the other stuff, man. It's it's not it's not gonna happen, man. It's not gonna happen. I could have been had damn kids by now if I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I I didn't make it this far on accident. <laughs> I've had a lot of scares, you know what I'm saying? I had a lot of scares, you know, but it, it you know, I, I made sure to cover my tracks, so we good. <laughs> yes, I got you. All right. I mean, I, again, I think it's I think it's beautiful and it's nice to hear that a man still wants that. So I mean, yeah. We still out here. There's a lot of guys that um that that's like that's like me. I met a lot of, especially when I was doing my masters. I met a lot of um black men in particular that that had the same mindset as me. We out here. It's a, it's not a lot of us, but we out here. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of us, but there's a few. It damn you. sure ain't a lot of us. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a couple of us, man. So I, I just I don't know. I can't. Mm -mm. I I just I just don't know how to how, how they do. I got homies that got three, four, five baby mamas. I just I don't get it. I don't get it. It happens. Yeah, uh, I, I just, I just wish, I wish them the best, man. Because I'll be damn, I'll be damn. Okay, uh, but I, if you're in a serious relationship, because you date long, like you date for four or five years, if she gets pregnant, then what? Um, if she gets pregnant after we was like dating for like three, four years or something like that. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I stack up on condoms, so I mean. I, I mean, I don't know if, if first of all, and, and, and let me just say this, once I hit two years, two and a half years of being in a relationship with you, I'm looking for a ring. I'm not the type of person that's going to have you as my girlfriend for five years and eight years. I don't, I don't got time. I got homies that, that's, that's been in a relationship with a girl for, for literally nine years, seven years. I'm like, bro, you not going to put a ring on that? What you waiting on? Right. But I mean, is there a time limit? Like, do you know? Do you think there's a certain time when you know somebody and you should know if it's for real or not? Um, in all honesty, if you're seriously dating someone, um, it should take you anywhere from six months to a year minimum to know this is the person that I want to be with. You know what I'm saying? So around that time, once you hit a year in a relationship, that's when you really sit down and figure out what it is that you want to do with her. Um, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then you'll tell yourself, like for me, for example, I'll say after we make after we hit a year, all right, cool. Now I have to pay attention to everything that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we can move in together, we can do this, we can do that, and all this other stuff. Once we hit 18 months, two years, now I'm looking for a ring. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm trying to I'm trying to plan my uh my 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 proposal party or what or whatever, because I already have an idea how I want to propose. You know what I'm saying? So it yeah. doesn't change with the girl, the proposal still how you want it. It's it's the, yeah it's, it's the I've, I've thought about this back when I was young yeah I, I thought about, <laughs> I thought about this back when I was young. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is for you. This is your moment. Got you. Got yeah you. yeah. Oh, oh, it's not about her. It's about me. It's about yeah. me. <laughs> I understood. That's okay. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Do you want like a big wedding, like a big church wedding, big outside little? No. No. Mm -hmm. I want like. 20 people on my side, 20 people on her side. That, that's, 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 about, that's about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, weddings are extremely expensive. I hear people that's been paying. Like, one of my professors, he's been married for, like, 27 years. He said he's still making payments on his wedding. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. Yeah, he had some big-ass extravagant wedding in um, in India. And, um, yeah, some yeah some crazy stuff. I was like, yeah, you are. You are insane. He's not even in India. I'm like, is your girlfriend, is your wife Indian? He's like, no. I'm like, okay, so you're both Caucasian. Y'all just wanted to have a random Indian wedding? Like, that's so... That's so weird to me, but you know, whatever. Do your thing. Um, you know, white people be getting bored, so when they see clearly beautiful, they yeah, yeah. I, I I don't know what what the hell he thought. I'm like thirty years paying off a wedding, like that's that's insane. Like I, I refuse. No, mm -mm. I, I I'll pass on that.
Egotistic, so cocky, so conceited, cause I'm better than your average. I'm mad sick when I spit that shit. When I spit that flow, she gon' want to catch my drift. Soon as a nigga get some money, they try to spit on it. They ain't put it on this bottle, so they can't sip on this. Don't you try to boost me up, don't try to get on, bitch. Cause I'ma act like I don't know you, nigga, that's real shit. I'm from a place where you get chased with full clips, AKs, and that type of shit. By the police, bitch. They quit to throw them seeds on you, so grow away from your kids. I'm just trying to beat the odds.